Uh, card trading is a type of gift card fraud where criminals are tampering with gift cards in stores that enables them to actually steal the money once you've loaded it into the card. If you're going to buy gift cards, there are a few things to do to help protect yourself. So one of them is when you're going into a store and you're looking at gift cards, actually inspect them. Just to give you an example, um, this is a PlayStation card that you can buy in probably most stores. And this is what's called in the industry an M6 piece of packaging, which is actually like the lowest level of security. So if you look on the back, the barcode is right there. There's nothing about it that's concealed. And then the second part is, you know, there is a sticker that's covering the key kind of pin information there, but this is not a really complicated sticker to remove and to replace. And so this type of card can really be easily tampered with. Just be aware of that. The more secure cards tend to have more packaging and tend to do more to obscure those key pieces on the card. So that's an M6, that's the lowest level. Try to avoid that if you can. A much more secure card that you could look at is one where the card itself is actually concealed in some type of packaging. So this is a Visa type of card issued by a company with a partnership with Visa. And when I look on the back here, we've got a whole bunch of security features. Um, so one of the things that you'll see, which is starting in some cases, but is still catching up in the United States, is sometimes there's actually a warning telling you, hey, there are security features on this card. If it's been tampered with in any way, don't buy it. In this case, we do see the barcode, but it's actually got a special hologram on it. So if it's been opened up and tampered with, the sticker won't show the proper hologram that it gives you a sample with there. Um, the pin and other really important information are concealed in the packaging itself. So for me to get at that and tamper with this, I gotta pull this whole package open, I gotta take it out, I gotta get the info, and then I've gotta find the matching hologram tape, I've gotta repackage this whole thing perfectly. And what you might even be able to see is there's little kind of cross cuts on the packaging itself. So as you open it up, it's gonna tear in a whole bunch of places, making it a little more evident that it might've been tampered with. And make sure after you buy it, that you keep the receipt. Don't get rid of that. And if there is a chance to register that card, you should do so. And after you buy it, a good safe thing to do is actually just check the balance right away and make sure that the money that you just loaded is actually still there. A lot of this is happening because there is an organized element to the card draining gangs. It's not just random people going into a local Walmart or a Target. It's actually groups of organized crime who are employing people to go into stores take them off the rack, put the tampered one back on, back on, and basically spend their entire day driving from store to store to store doing that. Head to the link in our bio to read more about how Chinese organized crime has moved into the gift card fraud space.